Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. What we see here is the initial screen when you open the Photoshop Elements Organizer. If you're used to a typical Windows environment, you'll have some familiar tools available to you. Let's take a moment to acquaint ourselves with the various parts of the environment and what we can do through those objects. At the top of the program window, we have what's called the title bar in versions 5.0 and earlier, which simply shows the name of the Elements application. In the upper right-hand corner of our screen, over here, there are three buttons that allow us to control the size and shape of the application window. We have Minimize, Maximize, Restore, and Close. These buttons appear in the menu bar in version 6.0 and later. Note that when you click those buttons, they control the sizing of the entire application and not just the image file upon which you happen to be working. So for example, if I click the Minimize button, it will minimize the entire Elements application. To restore it, I simply give it a click in the Windows taskbar and it will restore the application as we see here. The menu bar, located up here, contains the commands for performing tasks in the organizer grouped by category. For example, the file command contains all of the necessary commands for file management. You can click on one of the commands in the menu bar to display a drop-down listing of the subcommands that are available to perform. You then click on the command that you want to perform. Some subcommands are followed by a right pointing arrow and that indicates that you must make a selection to execute that command. So you simply hold your mouse pointer over those commands until you see a side menu appear. Then you slide your mouse pointer into the side menu to click on one of the available command choices. So we have, for example, get photos and videos, new, open recently edited file and editor, any of those will show us the subcommands here slide over and you could make a choice if you wish. Now some subcommands are followed by an ellipsis mark and those commands will then launch a dialog box when clicked into which you must input additional information or make a selection before you can execute that command. For example, if you selected file and then catalog from the menu bar, you'll be presented with the catalog manager dialog box where you would work with the catalogs that we discuss later in this chapter. In the dialog boxes that do appear, you can click the cancel button or press the escape key on your keyboard to cancel the window without making a choice. If you're interested in simply becoming a faster user of the Elements program, then it will help you to memorize the keyboard shortcuts that are available for the various commands in the menu bar. Using the menu bar to begin with will allow you to view the various keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are listed to the right of the various commands in the menu bar drop-down menus. For example, if I wanted to view the catalog dialog box again, I would press the Control and Shift keys and then tap the C key on my keyboard to make it appear more quickly in the future. You can see the keyboard shortcut to the right of the command in the drop-down. It's right there. We'll click out of here, hold down Control and Shift, tap the C key, and the Catalog Manager dialog box will appear again. And we'll go ahead and cancel that. Now after the menu bar is what's called the Shortcuts bar, located up here. And that allows you to complete commands that are also available in the menu bar with a single click of a button. If you roll your mouse over the shortcuts, you'll see a brief description of what each does. For example, if you click on Fix, you'll display a drop-down that allows you to enter the edit modes we'll be discussing a little bit later in this chapter. Now below this, down here, we have the main organizer window, and the various images that you open will display themselves here in this window. On the right-hand side of the screen, over here, is what's called the task pane. It's called the Organize bin in version 5.0 and earlier. 
where you create and manage tags and collections and even order prints of your photos if you wish. The task pane can be opened or closed by selecting Window and Show Task Pane or Window and Hide Task Pane from the menu bar. Let's take a look at that. Window, Hide Task Pane, Window, Show Task Pane. It's really that easy. The individual palettes within the task pane can be expanded to view or collapsed by clicking the small downward pointing arrows next to the pane's name. So albums, for example, keyword tags, any of those can be collapsed or expanded. In version 5.0, you can open and close the organizer bins by selecting Window from the menu bar and selecting or deselecting either of the bin names. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.